Welcome to the Financial Assistance Application Submittal Tool, FAST, How-To Video Series. This video explains how to start and submit an application for the Drinking Water State Revolving Fund, DWSRF, program. The Drinking Water State Revolving Fund, DWSRF program uses FAST to accept DWSRF applications electronically. FAST is efficient. Online application submittal reduces paper waste and allows your application to be reviewed electronically for faster processing. FAST is accessible, available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for your convenience. And FAST is free. You are not required to purchase special software. You need an internet connection and a web browser to use FAST. Now let's learn how to start and submit a DWSRF application in FAST. Go to the FAST website, which is located at https colon forward slash forward slash fast dot waterboards dot ca dot gov. At the FAST webpage, a pop-up will appear stating only secure content is displayed. Click the Show All Content button on the right side of the screen to close the pop-up. Look for the Log On To FAST button near the right side of the screen. Enter your username and password and click the Log On To FAST button to enter the system. If you have not already created a username and password, Please do so by clicking on the Create Account button and following the instructions provided. The main menu screen will appear. This is where you will start a new application, work on an existing application, view previously submitted applications, and update user and organization profiles. Navigating in the DWSRF application in FAST. There are four buttons you should be aware of. Save as work in progress, next, previous, and preview slash submit. To start a new application, click the start a new application link on the main menu. Carefully read through the system disclosure information and use the mouse to check each box. Use Web Browser Internet Explorer, version 6.0 or greater. Save your work often. The system times out after 90 minutes of inactivity. And disable pop-up blocking software. Then click the Continue button. Selecting the applicant organization. Click the Move to Next Page button if you work for the applicant. If you are submitting an application on behalf of the applicant, such as consulting and submitting on behalf of a client, please click the Search for Organization button. Follow the instructions provided to select the name of your client's organization. On the list of active RFPs, click on Drinking Water State Revolving Fund DWSRF Construction Hyperlink. If you are applying for planning funds, click on the Drinking Water State Revolving Fund DWSRF planning hyperlink. The Getting Started page asks for confirmation of information selected. Confirm the RFP, applicant organization, and the submitting organization. The submitting organization will differ from the applicant organization in the case of a consultant submitting an application on behalf of their client. Click the Continue to Application button to initiate the DWSRF application. The DWSRF application in FAST is comprised of three tabs, General Information, Funding, and Attachments. The bulk of the application is contained in the documents uploaded in the Attachments tab. The General Information tab contains basic information about the project title, description, and location. The Funding tab contains hyperlinks to the DWSRF application packages and instructions. 
Attachments tab contains the uploaded documents requested as part of the DWSRF application. On the General Information tab, there are three required fields identified with an asterisk. Enter a project title and description, then select a Responsible Regional Water Board. Click the Save as Work in Progress button to save, and then click on the Next button to move to the Funding tab. On the Funding tab, a description for the program is given. The description contains several program-related hyperlinks. Each hyperlink will take you to one of four packages that comprise the application or the instructions for the application. Check the box for DWSRF Financial Assistance Application Construction. Click the Save as Work in Progress button, then click the Next button. The Attachment tab is where you will upload the four application packages and related documents. For each attachment, select the corresponding option from the Attachment Category drop-down menu. Notice the Attachment Title field is populated based on the Attachment Category selected. The Attachment Title can be edited to reflect multiple files for the same Attachment Category. Click the Choose File button to search the computer for the document to upload. Once you have located this file, click the Attach Selected File button. Notice each attachment upload is displayed below and you can delete or add additional attachments. Please note, at a minimum, the general information form is required for the purposes of submitting the application via FAST. If not yet available, other attachments may be uploaded to FAST at a later date through the Post Submission Attachment tab. To preview the application at any time or right before submitting, Click the Preview slash Submit button. Review your application. Pay close attention to the attachments. Is the required general information package uploaded? If the answer is yes, click Next. The application preview page will display missing information such as project title, description, required attachments, and the federal tax ID number. Scroll to the bottom of the complete check screen to view a list of missing information. Required information includes a project title, project description, the federal tax ID number, and the required general information form. Missing information is displayed in red font. If the application is missing information, click the Back to Application button. If the application is ready to be submitted, the Certification and Submission Statement appears. Please read the Certification and Submission Statement. Then enter your initials and click the Submit Application button. The Submission Confirmation screen will appear once the application has been successfully submitted. Please note, an email will be sent to the email address on record for the person submitting the application. The next steps in the DWSRF application process include a DWSRF project manager being assigned, the DWSRF application submitted in FAST being reviewed by the project manager. If the submitted DWSRF application is found to not be complete, the applicant will then submit updated or additional documents in the post submission attachment tab. And finally, the DWSRF application is deemed complete by the DWSRF project manager. If you have questions or need assistance in starting and submitting a DWSRF application, please contact the FAST Help Desk at 1866. Four three four one zero eight three, or you can email at fast underscore admin at waterboards dot ca dot gov. The fast help desk is staffed Monday through Friday from eight a.m. to five p.m.
Thank you for watching the How to Start and Submit a DWSRF Application video.